Hey, what's up, what's good, YouTube, the World Wide Web? Um, as y'all can see, man, it's your host with the most, Paul Cantu. First and foremost, guys, I want to do a little bit of speaking to y'all about some shit that's been popping up. So, on my last couple videos, um, they have been sponsored, so I appreciate those companies. Some of y'all been leaving comments about how y'all miss the days when I restore shoes with um, household cleaning products and things of that nature, being thrifty. Look, I'm going to put it to you guys this way, man. I've been doing a lot more sponsored videos because YouTube has been straight hoeing me as of late. Like, I don't know what's going on, but their copyright system has been out of control, as is my fucking key fob that won't open my car. Um, but basically, dude, like, last week, I got, like, 40-plus videos randomly um, copyright struck, which basically means I can't make ad revenue off those videos, and I spend a minimum of, like, five hours editing every single video. Like, look at this, guys. This is all this month, just copyright shit, bro. And YouTube approves all my videos. I won't drop a vid unless it's approved by YouTube, so some fucking bitch ass loser who's hired by these big ass music corporations is going in and just claiming all my videos manually fucking lame ass bitch i hope you're watching this too bro how do you sleep at night dog so basically um what that means is there's a loser who probably is watching this right now who's going in and being like oh i think this song might match ours i think this might be a music composition by us and they're like claiming half my revenue which doesn't make any sense because they're basically saying I think there might be copyrighted content, but I'm not sure, but we still get half your money and I can't do shit about it. So that is why I'm doing these sponsorships is because that is the only way my time is made worthwhile that I spend editing all these fucking videos. But yeah, man, I'm gonna thrift today. I'm hopefully gonna find some heat. I'm gonna be in Dallas this weekend, the 29th and 30th at SneakerCon Dallas, so pull up. I will be there. Um, but yeah, f fuck that bitch, dude. All right, guys, man, we're live in the first store. Um, I did stumble across three little finds. Um, one is going to fall on the floor. And, oh, I saved it. Um, so, okay, the first little find is this $2 Best Vacation Ever. Um, Universal Studios Samson tea. A shout out the Simpsons. I got the little crazy straw on deck. I also got that rolling on a river. See, I could put a song in that and it'd be fair use. You know why? Because I made a reference and I sang myself. This thing looks like it got straight inked on though by a uh, uh, octopus. Oh, you guys made me eat. So I gotta leave that. And then you got the um, Harley Davidson little tank top show off here. Guns in style, Myrtle Beach, Florida. Dude, look at that little squirt, bruh. That looks nice. Also in the little plush department, they still got a butt-ass naked um, Mickey Mouse. What the fuck, bro? This dude has been in here forever, five ever. Um, and then, oh, hello. Oh, hello, dude. They got the little baby Jordan 12s, man. I'm gonna put this on a plush. Um, they also got the M&M's pillow right here. I definitely am going to get this and use it for some interior decor. Uh-oh, Illuminati confirmed in family thrift. I'm shook. Hey, bro. <laughs> Yo, shout out 50 Cent. Wait, hold on. I almost just passed them up. They got the G-G-G-G-G-U-N-E kicks. They also got the um, Skechers ass sculptors. And then they got some very clean burgundy vans. These are 15 bucks, though. Low-key, you get vans at, like, outlet price for 15 bucks. So, I don't know. They clean, though. All right, class. It's windy. I hate when it gets this windy, man. But it's always windy, dude. And I got the fines. <laughs> That's a guarantee too. If you can't hear me, you can feel me, baby. Oh man, all right guys, so we have arrived outside at the next store, which is the Family Thrift Center. Yet another one. Um, yeah, let's go in. I was gonna say something else, but now I don't feel like it. All right guys, we're in here. Um, the vibe seems so dry, but they do have a giant Minnie Mouse plush um yeah it's 15 bucks which seems taxed it is high quality though i don't know if i need it it is just so ignorantly large that i'm just like i don't know man something about it is calling my name um but 15 for thrift plush i don't know i mean her head is fucking bigger than mine oh wait hold up dude from across the room the Made in USA Vintage <laughs> Elmo Baby Wash. So sick. Dude's from 2018. Never mind, dude. For some reason, it just looks hella yellow. Um, they got this weird Native American little thing. I don't know what that is. 
And then they got poodle bookends. So, I don't know, the clothing section is just giving me dead vibes even though I've literally looked through like nothing. But the accoutrement section, bringing all of the blessings. It's like some exorcism shit. <laughs> we had a couple more funny plushes. You got baby Pluto, um, so cute. I don't know, I'm not gonna get him, I don't think though, but you also have plush Rex. Come on, the most anxious animated character. Rex suffers from anxiety. My tail! Where's my tail? And then you got a cat tape dispenser. I'm getting this from my sister. She's like a crazy cat lady, so you already know what time it is. But yeah, definitely got a cop Rex. Yo, <laughs> this is a direct indicator that this store is about that bullshit. They got a tie for six dollars. Like, bro, give me three for six. What you mean? It is Looney Tunes, it is cool, but that is just way, way too high. Tripping. Bro, they're smoking dick. Pricing these at $15, bro. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Yo, what on earth? They got a couple more minis just chilling in a dog um basket or bed or whatever. 10 doll hairs for this small one. Okay, low-key making me feel like I'm getting a deal on the giant size guy. Oh my lord. All right, guys. After praying to um, <laughs> what? Dude, this says Jesus is my coach. After praying to ballerina Jesus um, and finding a goofy, I hate a goofy especially. <sighs> consulting my friend, I'm gonna cop Minnie. I have the giant Mickey, and I just cannot leave him without his mane. You dig? So, bringing her home, getting yaks, getting yoked, but still gonna cop. Let's get it. Oh, me on my apple pie. Guys, I was checking out. Um, my lovely cashier friend pulled two pairs of kicks that I noticed from the bag. These are my size. The size 12 Adidas Ultra Boost. They're 15 bucks. I'm going to get these. Um, and then there are also these little Jordan 13s. These are $8. They're kind of beat. Um, I'm actually going to leave these dudes behind because I don't have a child yet. Thank you very much. And if I did, it'd be with you. Um, <laughs> But yeah, those Adidas are awesome. So I'm getting them super comfy, and I like the colorway. It is what it is, boys. Hey man, holy smokes guys. So I went in there, got the worst vibe from that store whatsoever. The lady evidently was supposed to put out clothes wasn't there, so I guess that's why the clothing section was dry than a bitch. But hey, the flesh section was lit, as was the sneaker section, boys. So yeah, man, coming away with those Adidas Ultra Boost definitely is clutch. Um, I love the way comfy shoes feel. Just gonna wear them to the gym, shit of that nature. But yeah, now Mickey got his wife back in his life. Let's get it, man. We got a lot of accoutrements, but let's get to these clothes, daddy. Let's get to it. We're in the next thrift, and we got something perfect for sneaker con. Representing that big triple D. I'm a star boy. Ha 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 ha. Dude, actually a starter. I went on pure faith alone that this was gonna be a starter jacket, and it is. Um, let's see what's on the back. Oh, this thing is like tri starred out, brothers. It's Orion's belt. How do you keep your pants up when you're performing? It's incredible. Belt. Oh, oh yo. Hey, they did it this time. Look at that, man. They got the dad sneaker grails. Wait, what size are these? Size nine. Damn, not my size. Yo, high key monarchs are so damn comfy. It's actually stupid. Um, what also is stupid is how attracted I am to these pieces. Um, I feel like these are from the 70s. It's like some abstract like art. This is what you interpreted to be the Going on this piece right here, homies in like a damn um pray mantis. Fucking stance walking a tightrope, it appears. Um, this was made in the USA. It's like an old school, like 70s Sears collection. It might actually be older. Bruh, yes, yes, and more, yes. Um, personal collection cop, Papo. I actually have this, um, this jersey in my collection, except it is missing this little uh, circular patch, the middle Italian flag, and the Serie A. Um, so yeah, man, you got the Pirelli sponsored Inter Milan jersey, Nike dry fit in this bitch. Gotta get this. Bro, what the fuck? Okay, um, check that John out. You also got the off-white construction um, t-shirt right here. 
I don't know, dude. The quality feels all there. Um, it's cutting so. They got this long little dongle thing right there. Um, if I just found off white in the thrift, let me know. Oh, oh, single stitch, guys. It was single stitch, but. Um, I guess off-white in the thrift. Um, I'm not really a connoisseur of off-white, but you know what? I guess I'll take it. I don't know if someone tried to do something to this or this is how it came, but fuck it. They got that good neck. Hold on, bro. We got some stripages all up in a line. Let's see. Oh, yes, sir, daddy. It chaps Ralph Lauren. And what do we got here? Oh, that one is no name brand, but the colorway is still sick and it's super soft. I wish you guys could just stick your hand through the cam and just feel this. Look at that. You can almost see through it, bro. Yeah, you know that soft. Nature, baby. Nature. Look at this, man. You got the whole food chain on this shirt. Dude, I pray to God that these denim shorts fit my waist because these are in insane bro willow bend you definitely came through for cantu please god let these fit me these are nuts oh my gosh guys tiptoeing in my miguel hordans peep game man you got the jordan 14s um what's actually crazy is these are my first ever pair of jays they're actually pictures of me rocking these got them from my cousin they were hand-me-downs so uh it's like the thrift gods have said here you go, son. Here's some shoes that are not in your size, but you know what? Have Adam show them off in a video. So I'm ever so appreciative, Thrift Heavens. Um, that's sick. Take it. Got it. All right, guys, man. We're wrapping it up in this store. Um, final scores, man. You got the Aquaberry Mickey Mouse cut in so 90s polo. Got a hat that matches that perfectly. You got the two Gucci for Gucci. <laughs> Bro, I'm just so sick with it. Um, bless me. You got the honors little Tukuji of Fuguchi drug rug esque looking pullover. And then you got the Pendleton made in USA virgin wool. Yeti. One hell of a day in this store. All right, guys. Briefly, um, we got a little Goodwill intermission, bro. <clears throat> I stopped in and oh my gosh they got one of my favorite soccer players they got that boy wayne rooney up in the first half now that here's rooney oh my goodness me this is awesome dude it's the england umbro jersey very clean the tri lions lion got the little star of authenticity it is my size dude bro this is a relic shout out that boy wayne rooney that is one of the strikes of the season Blessings are all around and abound. Check that out, man. You got the Poo Crew neck. You got Poo Bear coming out of the letters. Each letter is a different design, double cupped in the neck region. Then you got the Team Nike Burgundy Essential Crew neck. Dude, <laughs> as if Goodwill couldn't come up with another item. You got Tweety Bird straight up pointing, um, I guess, like guiding the cops away from this little narcotics case but yeah you can put syringes needles <laughs> a couple uh a couple grams or something in here you know what i'm saying um yeah cool little um drug case <laughs> no i don't know what this is for i guess like school supplies but it's two bucks it's dope i like that it's like three deified yeah i'm getting it Oh guys, we got another one, man. I'm so happy. This store was not ran through, which is becoming increasingly and increasingly more rare. Um, you got the bootleg FUBU tee. You got the FUBU track international sports team tee. FUBU track logo on the back. Um, I'm saying this store is not ran through. There literally have been three old heads in here. Um, just old, like motherly looking people all with eBay open searching each and every item. It's a farcy, bro. Like, honestly, there should be a rule in the thrift where if you don't know what something's worth, you can't cop it because this is just absurd. Hey, but get your money, though. You know what I'm saying? Get your money. So shout out all the old heads on uh, eBay doing their damn thing, I guess, man. I don't know. I feel like you got to have at least some knowledge brought to the table. But um, speaking of stuff being brought to the table, boy, I'm eating good out here in Trill Wheel. I jumped into another one. You got the Disneyland Vintage Mickey Mouse snapback look at that mickey all embroidered with the 
with the I and K serving as legs. Original retail. What? Why does it say three hundred dollars? Oh, it's like in Asia countries. I was like, damn, three hundred, bro. That's taxed. But yeah, it's brand new with tax. It actually is three dollars. So um, reverse inflation on this dude, and he looks like he's miming something. This is just a sick hat, super clean. Very excited about having this in the personal collection. I'm gonna restore it and rock it because I've never found such a clean Mickey hat live in the thrift. Oh my goodness gravy, hell yeah Trill Wheel. Dude, I feel so blessed. You got the <laughs> vintage Walt Disney Mickey tee, right? I got this little single stitch t-shirt. It's just really funny. It says, I'm the daddy, that's why, which is the best rationale for anything in life. Made in the USA on a jersey, super soft. I just think it's really cool like how faded it is and it's like a funny little message so I'm gonna keep that guy and then this piece right here is nuts bro it's 90s the colorway is crazy got like all types of multicolored Native American print up on it dude shout out Trill Will man always coming through all right guys so I just got back to the crib um, and literally as we speak I just got another copyright strike on a random video manually so fuck yeah I am sorry about complaining about that um, number one it's just really difficult when YouTube says my videos are good to go and some bitch ass is saying the shit's got copyrights but that's neither here nor there pull up on me um, this Saturday and Sunday the 29th and 30th if you guys want any of the gear you saw in today's video or just to meet my little fine ass um, I will appreciate it. I love seeing you guys in person. So if you're in the Dallas area, please come to SeerCon Dallas. Show up, show out. It'll be dope. And um, all the gear that I don't sell, I got like 320 pieces going out there. All the gear I don't sell will be hitting my site this upcoming month of July. So yeah, man. Peace and love. Live the dream with that ice cream. I'm locked and loaded and I am gone. See ya. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I and I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.